Microsoft gave us a building and uh, also some food, which is good. Um, then, uh, you, okay, you may or may not, uh, just I want to go th through something quickly, just uh, what happens in community because I've been doing that for a while. Microsoft's been doing that, quite a lot of people are doing that. That, um, that there are some changes that may happen in the organization that you're trying to promote the cool stuff from. Uh, and in the community side of things, um, in, in some cases, a little bit worldwide, like the uh, contribution could have been going in the little kind of downside of things. Uh, and uh, basically, we just have to try to work extra hard to find some sponsorship in order to be enabled just uh, literally to pay for some food. Why food is important? I'm going to tell you why. Very simple. People that just come to our talks usually after, uh, yeah, sorry, microphone. People usually when we make community events, that is going to be after work, like 7 p.m. or so. There are some people that are arriving from work and they are hungry. So uh, if, uh, and we are going to have like three hours of pretty tough stuff to understand and they need to eat. Some people just show up just for the food and then fuck, fuck off. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> That happens. Uh, it happened quite a lot uh, at our event as well. We saw it. It's just like part of the game. If we start to make like some paying uh, stuff, um, uh, paying for food, well, that is going to be like the people might not come first of all because uh, you know you uh, can have different engagement. Everybody's busy and so on and so on. So we want to keep it free because free is good, and we want to keep it sponsored in order to be able just to get up for the guys that actually want to attend the sessions and uh, just uh, are hungry because you're just hungry. You don't have the time to go and get a burger, and eating too much burger anyway is very bad for yourself. Who likes burgers? <laughs> Great. Right, so, anyway. Um, point is, so uh, Microsoft um, uh, this time gave us some money that is good. It doesn't happen all the time, just to let you know. Uh, so, but uh, this event was just like kind of exceptional, as, uh, as you know it. So, uh, we, I, I, I had to cry a lot, literally. I was like, <laughs> and it worked, so that's good. Uh, then, then, um, those guys, so, um, all those component um, people, so you've got like Syncfusion, you've got um, Telerik, and you have uh, InfraJ6, I believe. Uh, it depends. Sometimes they can give you something, sometimes they don't. This time, that's those guys. So I need to just go through this uh, stack to tell that, uh, well, you say thank you, basically. Because thanks to this guy, we had a lot of food. Too much food, I believe, but that's all right. <laughs> So uh, Syncfusion, they do some control for Xamarin. You may uh, or may not use them. They're, they're fine. Uh, it's just like uh, they, they do the job. Uh, they're extensible and they're relatively inexpensive. So we've got this one, got that one, that one, that one, and that one. Let's look at this one again. It's nice. We've got this one and this one. Okay, I'm going to move on this one. Hold on. Oh no, I broke it. Whoop. Oop, look at that. <laughs> nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. With sound effects. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do something like. <laughs> so basically, you can do that and go like. <laughs> and so on. So, and, and that's why I don't play cricket anymore. <laughs> then we got this one, that one, radial. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that one, that one, tree map. It doesn't look like a tree at all, right? <laughs> so, Sunburst shot, it does look a bit like a, all right. That's a sun, it's a bit yellow, uh, it's uh, like a burst green, right? <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I, well, basically, what my personal interpretation is this one. Mars attacked the sun, green. <laughs> Death. So don't mess about with Martians. Image editor, and look at this guy. All right? I'm going to show you how it's done. All right? See? Very similar. All right. Then with the barcode. Um, yeah, they're nice. Just out of interest, who likes QR codes? Uh, there is something you don't know about QR codes uh, that I learned from this guy. That is kind of some redundant uh, little thing. So it's actually not really used, except if the rest is not really yeah, like in good right. state. You can put something, anything there. You can put your name, can put just like you can draw a cat, and cats are cute. Right? OK, who thinks that cats are kind of cute? Yeah. <laughs> who knows? OK, is the internet made of cats or made of porn? Of a cat, cat paw, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Range navigator, busy indicator, 
Sparkline Maps Navigation Rower available there. Thank you. So that's done. Now, I'm going to go very quickly through um, the thing necessary to be able to do uh, what? Uh, wh that. Bas basically, I want to do that uh, window. Uh, hardware. We want to rotate it somewhere. Rotate uh, left. Yeah. So what we want is that, basically. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. I broke it. I broke it. Oh, boo! Right. And, and that's why you should not let me do presentations after two days of not sleeping and just getting seriously just like uh, drinking a goat milk too much. Right. Um, okay. Well, we are going to complete this and do it. Yeah, no, it, it works, it works. It's just like I broke it on purpose so we can have a laugh, you see? Yeah, yeah. So, just 10 minutes of it and then my call because uh, I, yeah, that, that's the way it is. Uh, okay, how do you do that? Very simple. Well, how do you do that? Very simple. That's a scratch pad. So, um, uh, anybody has been doing any game development ever? Yeah, right. So it's slightly, uh, I, I haven't actually, I just started that uh, like two days ago. I spent about a day with it and that's about it. So I'm not very good uh, either. So it's not going to be a very exciting talk either. This is why it's better to keep it short. So um, basically it uh, works slightly different to uh, like an event-driven application or just something like an MVC application or like a common driven or whatever. Uh, as you just have basically one big loop that is doing uh, that. Hold on, let me get some slides to go with it. So I can uh, do that. Examiners, no, what I want, developers, developers. Uh, little, up, yeah, uh, this, no, wrong, up, yeah, so, yeah, uh, no, so I'm going to the wrong place, what am I looking for, monkey fest, yeah, look at that, look at that, uh, and then we've got what uh, you want, we want, want sessions, yeah, that again, slides, there you go, it's going to be very quick, I'm going to, right, um, I didn't make those slides, that's the wrong ones as well, <laughs> I think, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's it. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, and that's awesome. Um, okay, we did that. I don't know. We don't do that. That. Th those guys are nice. They're nice. They're nice. Those guys are nice. They're very nice. So, um, yeah, that's just about what I'm going to talk about. So I was talking about this really, really big loop. In a nutshell, uh, you've got to do uh, like three stuff, really. Uh, in a game, you are going to be, first of all, handling uh, the input. So uh, if you've got like a joystick, you're just <coughs> going to handle the joystick. If you've got a keyboard, you've got to listen to the, uh, it's not really listen. You just have to watch the state of what is happening with the keys. Uh, if you're using a touch screen, same. Uh, you're going to be able to get a set. I'll go into that quite quickly. Uh, and then um, you'll be able, depending on the input, from the user to be able to update the position of the content that will be represented on the screen, like uh, like sprites or whatever, like little piece of, uh, of content, and then you are going to draw it. Uh, that's about it. And repeat, repeat, repeat. That's a game. See, simple. Everybody can do it. So yeah, fine. So uh, that's pretty much what I said already. Uh, at the start of the game, you are just going to load your content. Content is going to be assets such as images, images, videos, uh, 3D models, uh, textures, uh, and uh, also some uh, audio files, as I said already. Initialize the state, which is, okay, score equals zero, uh, the initial location of the uh, characters, for instance, or what, uh, whatever else you want to track. Then again, update, I just said you're going to handle the input from the keyboard, joysticks, and so on. Apply the physics or just like move your stuff around. Uh, and then you just draw and keep going. All right. So uh, the only thing that is important about drawing is just like drawing on a piece of paper. It is just uh, you put your first layer first and then you draw on top of it and on top of it and on top of it. So if you want your stuff to be visible, make sure it is at the foreground, not the background. That's pretty much it. Uh, yes, the coordinates in uh, mono game is probably most gaming frameworks, I believe, start from the top left corner. Uh, that is going to be zero, that is going to be infinity, and that is infinity, and that is also zero. So that is maybe 100, 100. That's the way you do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> effects, you can then just apply to your uh, graphics some effect, like uh, blending stuff together and so on and so on. <laughs> Done. Input and animation. 
making stuff mood. Uh, well, I just went through that already. Uh, literally, animation is, uh, well, um, if I just press this key, I am going to increment the x coordinate or the y coordinate of the stuff, and, uh, and that's about it. That is going to create animation. In a nutshell. Yeah. Okay, uh, then uh, we're talking about 2D here. You'll uh, have like a choice of having just like a sprite, which is just like does nothing. So you can move that around on the screen. It's going to be uh, pretty useless. And that is what we call a sprite sheet, which is you are going to put different pieces of graphics in a, in a well, whatever your format, PNG, PNG is good because you've got transparency. <laughs> and uh, you are going to try to keep the, um, or the, the format like uh, the same. So that it's going to be like, let's say, 200 pixels, 200, 200, 200. The reason why is in order to be able to create anima animation, you need to play that guy, that guy, and that guy. And you want just to cut that by knowing, so give me the total length size of this thing, cut it on the y-axis by, by three. You've got three images, that's 300 um, in, in length, 100 each, done. You've got your spreadsheet, and then you can animate them. Very good. Uh, audio, yeah, if you put some sound, it's great. Um, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> now, 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 hold on. I've got like five more minutes just to um, show you roughly. Yeah, yeah, demo game. So, um, for instance, let's uh, let's have a look at uh, at something like that. So, uh, when you just get uh, this mono game uh, framework temp, sorry, up, wrong stuff. Okay. The stuff going, you are going to have uh, pretty much some uh, kind of uh, virtual method that will override that does pretty much what we said, which is initialize, and then that is going to be um, uh, listen to the input, uh, move stuff around, and then draw. So initialization constructor, we just get a handle on the gra graphics device manager, which is basically giving you a, uh, like a highway to your uh, graphics card, let's say, right? Then you are going to look at where is your content directory. So basically, it's on the root um, in the directory called content, which uh, I can, uh, yeah, I'm kind of lazy a bit, but uh, we shall not go, but just trust me there. Uh, <laughs> right here, yeah, here you go, it's here, here we go, path. This one's got a file uh, called uh, content.mgcb. So there's a cool stuff about MonoGame. It is a pipeline. The pipeline is just like how to get all your content in the format that is just going to be uh, useful, that is going to be uh, kind of uh, not very high in uh, loss of performance. Uh, just basically, you want to be as friendly as you can with your uh, graphics rendering, uh, rendering engine. And that is going to manage that. Basically, you just add some files in, this, in, in, a, in a folder that is going to build and just make uh, life easy for the renderer to uh, actually just like be performant and just crunch some frames because in gaming you want to crunch some frames as fast as possible in order to be able just to have uh, well, to not lose frames between your playing so you just drag and drop some files I've got a banana and I've got one sound here that's about it uh, yes and then you just build it so if I add another thing up view the stuff done but Bana banana and sound is now available to my application the way I load it is very simple say hey uh, give me the content, I want to load a sound effect, and that sound that's just basically the name of the file, or give me a texture, which is just basically some image, and that is going to be bigger. bigger. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's true, I kept on doing that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's bigger. Here you go. Bigger, slightly bigger. And it should be white. I know, I know, that's, that's, that's bad, right? I kept on telling people to do that, I'm not going to do it myself. Yeah, actually, you know what? <laughs> Up. So uh, sound and banana, uh, and, and then they're just pretty much going to exist here. I've got my, uh, my, my file there, and then I want to display it. So I've got this draw method, and I'm going to say, hey, uh, please, uh, sprite batch is basically uh, kind of start and end container of processing images. You can have multiple ones. I've got different rules. I'm not going to get into that. But basically, it's just like, hey, let's go and start just putting some image on the screen, and then let's finish it. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm just drawing my banana. I'm just going to say this is, uh, that is at uh, the uh, co uh, that's x coordinate is going to be like 100, 100 on y. And, uh, and that's about it. And then I just want to draw it. The end. Path. Let's run that. And that happens because of reasons. By the way, something I forgot to mention, that is cross-platform. It runs on iOS, on Android, on Mac, on Windows UWP, on Windows Desktop, on, uh, uh, what, on Steam, on uh, uh, Xbox, literally all over the place. You code once and just deploys everywhere. Uh, it's just like no demo. Oh, yeah, okay, done. Uh, I hope, no, why not? 
No, it's, it's, it's just bullshitting. All right. So uh, wh what do you think is going to do here? Display banana, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> There you go, path. I'm going to. Um, uh, right. And we'll be able to see a banana. There we go, banana. Awesome, right? Boring. Let's make the banana move. So, uh, in order to uh, make the banana move, what I did here is I declared a variable uh, which is there, which is just like a, a pretty, pretty much the x um, axis, right? X position. And I'm saying on uh, something along the line of that, let me. Okay, you. I'm telling the game pretty much, hey, uh, I've got like a handle on the time that elapsed on the game. I say, yeah, let's just uh, figure out uh, what time it is since the last game frame uh, has been drawn. And then I'm just saying that if it is greater than 200 milliseconds, please draw something. Otherwise, the sprite is going to go very fast, basically, at the speed of your computer. You don't want that. Say, just draw like uh, every second, every whatever. So what is going to happen if I do that? The banana is good. Yes. Uh, you want a t-shirt, but I don't have any. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, questions. Who plays cricket? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, no, I don't. And who, uh, who would like to have a t-shirt? That's it. There's not enough people. I won't print any. Sorry, sorry. If just like half the room would say, yes, we want a t-shirt, I will print some, but now, now I can't. <laughs> Too late. You, you, you have to think about it, you know? And my banana is not moving, you see? Sorry? You didn't actually increment of the incremental. I didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yes. Why? Why? Let's have a look. Why not? Hold on. I'm uh, up. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. That's correct. And then, yes, it should move. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. By the way, that comes from Thailand. <laughs> Did you know it? Where do you think you com it, it comes from? Vietnam. Yeah? <laughs> that is true. It was Vietnam. <laughs> See? It was, it was a trap question. I got you. Banana moved, by the way. Did you miss it? You want me to play it again? <laughs> Did you see the banana? Who saw the banana move? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's look at it again. Come on, banana. Move. Now to a question, how fast does it move? Slow. slow. Yeah? It's pretty slow, right? I can make it move slower. You know, it's, it's easy. <laughs> right. Uh, and now to, uh, for the ground. So basically, that's pretty much it. Then I could just like uh, say, oh, listen to input, make the banana move. I'm not going to do that. I just want to see the monkey drink beer. That's all I want to do. So I've been doing uh, like, uh, something slightly more elaborate, uh, elaborated and slightly more structured. Um, something to, rigor to see here, I've got like a desktop project, an Android project, an iOS one. Uh, we've got a PCL, uh, because PCLs are good, so you can do your shared code separated. Uh, here we're using a shared, file, uh, a shared project uh, because of reasons. Basically, because it's like file system based, mono game doesn't really like uh, to put your content on PCLs. Or I was too lazy to try to find a way to do that because uh, that's the way it is. Anyway, go. So, um, all the interesting code is actually, uh, like here, I'm going to go through it very quickly. I'm loading some few uh, build debug project. Uh, they're, they're here. No, tools. Here we go. Path, font, and colors. Just font. OK. Uh, I want like uh, what? F 16 is good? Yeah. Let's do that. Up. OK. Here we go. So. What I'm doing uh, very, very quickly, um, not very important here. Uh, I just defined an area called the playpen, which is going to be like where I'm going to draw stuff within the actual full screen of the application. Because you need to do a little bit of calculation to do everything happen, really. So I just said that is going to be that big. Uh, there's going to be like five beer columns. And, uh, and yes, uh, I'll go through that later. So I'm loading my content, background. I'm uh, lo loading some fonts in order to be able just to write stuff on the screen. I'm uh, loading a, mon a monkey sprite sheet. And I'm loading some beers as well, uh, because that's good. And that's about it. Then in terms of update, very quickly, 
Again, I'm just listening to the time and just make sure that ev everything is not going to go too fast. And um, I'm just then going to be listening at what the user is doing, right? And um, what the user is doing is just, uh, right, let's have a, basically in order to get uh, some interaction uh, state, you just get the state. It's, there is no, it's not really event driven, it's just like, I want to know uh, what the user is currently do it, doing. Just let, let me know that, please. And based on those interactions, you'll be able just to uh, take some, um, uh, some um, decisions. So here I'm just saying, right, if uh, we are pressing the left side of the touch panel, I want my uh, monkey to go left. If it's on the right side, I want my, mo my monkey to go right. Pretty much. And if we double tap, we can start a new game. That's just pretty much about it. Uh, and then, basically, how does the monkey go left? Well, that's very simple. We just change the location. Uh, we just change the position. The position is a vector. We uh, just do a little bit of maths, and that just happens. Uh, right. Yeah. That's about it. And then you draw um, all the things that have been updated. I was saying that was going to be a very, very fast show because, oh, come on. Because. Because that's the way it is. But yes, just um, trust me on that. All the updates that uh, would have been happening here are just going to be drawn on the screen. Basically, we're going to say, hey, monkey, just go one pixel to the right, one pixel to the left. And that's about it. And then the beers are going to be following the same pattern. <coughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Left. And it has to work. Oh, no, it probably will not work because I just changed something. Did I change something? Did I do something bad? I may have done something quite bad. Unforgivable. By the way, Atlassian changed their logo. Did you know it? Yes, it's yeah, yeah. Do you, do you like it? Do you prefer the first one? Or? They like that one. No? All right, okay, is it working? All right. Yeah, yeah, ah, no, no. Ah, there we go. That's about it, really. And then I lose. The end. That's it. Oh, really. <laughs>